is Percival Bartleby II. His friends refer to him as Percy. He's a manager. And this is Percival's assistant. His name is not important. Percy wants his mother to pass away, so he can inherit her vast empire of bars and restaurants, including this one, that he now manages on her behalf. This is Jack. Jack wants to be a UFC cage fighter. He likes Chuck Norris films and admires the work of Werner Herzog. Jack doesn't like Percy. This is Emma. Emma wants to be married and have a white picket fence, but is finding it difficult because she refuses to have sex before marriage. She is 30 and still a virgin. Emma doesn't have a boyfriend, but is attracted to everyone. What shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> This is Elton. Elton doesn't really want anything. That is to say, he doesn't know what he wants. Not yet, anyway. How may I help you, sir? Can I have a cheeseburger meal, please? Would you like to upgrade that, sir? Um, no. How about some of the spicy barbecue nuggets? No. Some extra fries? No. Another burger? No. How about my sister? Um, no. But thanks for asking. She'd make a lovely vibe for someone. This is Elton's girlfriend, Cupcake. Cupcake is attracted to men with large feet. The man on the bed is not Elton. Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. I was just thinking about you. But I'm with someone. But it's embarrassing. I'm not a child anymore. Yes. Yes, well, if it'll make you feel better. Mummy. There, now I said it. OK? All happy now? Good, good. Yes, 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 I'll see you later. Six o'clock. Splendid. Looking forward to it. Yes. OK, now. Bye. Bye now. Yes, yes, I love you too. Hey, Em. Hey, Elton. What are all these people doing here? Oh, it's Percy's birthday. These are his friends. Isn't it wonderful? Percy has friends. Who'd have thought? Look, free punch all day. <laughs> oh, well, the rain brings the worms out, I guess. Actually, I could use a drink. Who made it? Jack, just before he resigned. Jack resigned? Why? Yes? I resign. Why? I don't like you. <laughs> oh. Jack took all the toilet paper too. Why would Jack take all the toilet paper? Why are you taking all the toilet paper? Oh. Hey, I think there are a couple of spare rolls in the cupboard. What are all these boxes of laxatives doing there? And they're all empty. You don't suppose Jack put them in there, do you? No, not a chance. I mean, I can't imagine anyone would do a thing like that. Remember the biker guy? What the fuck do you want? One for the road, sir. It's on the house. 
It's a flaming Lamborghini, sir. Very refreshing. <laughs> and that's because he didn't tip. Oh, laxatives in the punch and no toilet paper. Things could get messy around here. But on the bright side, I think it's safe to say that Percy's wealthy friends probably won't drink the punch. I mean, how would they care what's free? Shit. Literally. Oh, we should tell Percy. Hey, isn't that your girlfriend? What? Where? Oh, yeah. What's she doing here? Hey, Cupcake. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. That sounds ominous. What's up? I came here to tell you I'm, I'm leaving you. What are you talking about? I thought we were happy. We were mostly, I guess. It's just cool. I met someone. What? When? Last night. We're in love. Oh, how can you be in love if you only just met? Well, it's like when I first met you. I can't keep my eyes off you, remember? My feet. You couldn't keep your eyes off my feet. Well, yes, exactly. That's well, what I meant. What's that got to do with anything? Well, I mean, did it? You know, did it? I was kind of heartbroken to find out that well, what they say about men with big feet isn't really true in your case. That was months ago. We spoke about that. You even booked me an operation. Well, it's just, I can't wait anymore. I'm sorry. I've already collected my things. You can keep the goldfish. I know you love it. Goodbye, darling. I'll remember you fondly. Can't we talk about this? Oh, I never liked the goldfish, by the way. It smells like fish. Can I call you later? Are you okay? Elton? Are you okay? My girlfriend just dumped me. Oh. oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? No, it's okay. I sort of knew something was up. Hey, I was thinking, about the punch I mean, maybe Jack didn't put the laxatives in the punch. I mean, we shouldn't raise any false alarms, right? Elton, Elton. Sorry, what? Oh, it's nothing. I'm kind of glad you're single. I was thinking maybe we could- What are you two doing standing around? Haven't you got work to do? Oh, actually, sir, we wanted to mention something to you. Can't you see I'm busy? I asked you why you're standing around. I think you'll find that everything's in order, sir. That's very good. Right, and as you've done so well, why didn't you take a little break? Did you enjoy that? Good, now, back to work, come on. Chop, chop, the drinks won't serve themselves, you know. That was a good one, make a note of it. It'll look good in my memoirs. Excuse me, waiter. Hey, look at this article. Ten questions to find out if you have the perfect man. Ouch. Let's do it. Okay, question one. Does your boyfriend take you shopping often? Yes. I'll be right back. Or listen to your problem without offering any solutions? Yes. Oh my god! 10 out of 10! Honey, you're amazing! I know, right? I am amazing. Impressive! What can I do for you two today? What are all these people doing here? 
Thank you. Hey guys, how you, how's it going? Good to see you. Hello. Hey Richard, you was at the British Club, wasn't it, last time? Nice to see you. Uh, let's do lunch. Hey big man, how's it going? Look at my nails. I really must get a manicure right away. Write that down. Ah, Emma, just the girl I want to see. My nephew Remy has asked to meet you. He's a nice young man, very wealthy and all that. Uh, just up your street, I should imagine. Uh, is that okay? Good, right. Uh, Remy. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting for this moment. Bonjour, where have you been all my life? Je t'aime. My heart is an open wound. This is a dream. Only if we wake up. <laughs> I feel like I've known you all oh. my life. Your eyes are like an ocean, the color of my Porsche. You have a Porsche? No, I have two. <laughs> What do you say we finish our glasses of punch and get the next train out of here? I'm staying at the Eaton Animal Suite. We can open the spire and blow bubbles into sunrise. What do you say, sweetheart? Shall we fly as it's cool? Oh, well, that does sound like fun, but I'm just not that type of girl, you see. Okay. How about we finish two glasses of punch and up on my private jet? A romantic weekend in Paris, watching the sunset overview Talley, huh? What do you say, pussycat? Oh. I think you're great. It's just, I have this thing. No sex before marriage and all that. My mother, and her mother before her, and her mother's mother have all... Hey, that's no way to treat a lady. Ladies, where? may sound crazy, but I finally realized what I want. Oh? I'm, I'm in love with you. I don't care how long I have to wait. I feel like we were meant to be oh, together. Oh, it's about time. I've waited two years for you to say that. Oh, come on, let's get out of here before it gets too messy. <laughs> Where are you two going? We've got customers. Self-service tonight, I'm afraid, Percy. I highly recommend the punch. So... I want to be straight with you from the start. I have deceiving feet. Oh, I don't care about feet. I want six children and a poodle. Sure, six is my lucky number. So, that thing about sex before marriage, any chance we can change it to sex once engaged? Oh, I was just putting it out there. I sort of know this great place in Vegas where they... Oh, wow, you really do pack a punch. Into the line of a dark black night. Hello, Mummy. I think it's better you don't come in today. Uh, we've run into a spot of bother. No, everything's fine. Uh, just trying to tie up a few loose ends, that's all. Yes. Mother's on her way. I wait. I see no reason.